Liz Ness here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own sort of high pass filter. It's really not a high pass filter because uh, the, the, the tool itself doesn't uh, take samplings. We're just sort of creating a fake one, um, but it works pretty well and, uh, in Procreate and it's such a great tool to use instead of the usual sharpening that comes with any sort of image enhancement or drawing app. And the reason it's a little bit better to use, at least in my opinion, is because you can tweak the adjustment later on. A lot of times with the sharpening tools that come with the applications, uh, once you've sharpened, it's that's the way it is. And you have to toss it out and start again if you want to make some changes. But with high pass, you get to sort of play around with the adjustment you can use different blending modes and you can also change the opacity of the adjustment. And so I really like using that um, over the usual standard vanilla sharpening tools that come with any of these apps. So let's go ahead and get started. With my image here, I'm gonna uh, go ahead and tap on the layers uh, icon there. And I'm gonna go ahead and slide this gently over to the left and select duplicate. With the duplicate, I'm gonna go over and select the little wand here, which is adjustments. And then I'm going to come down to hue, saturation, and brightness. And I'm going to slide the saturation all the way over, just like that. Then I'm going to come back to my layers and tap it again. And I'm going to create a duplicate of this. All right, once I have the duplicate, I'm going to uh, tap it again, and then I'm going to select invert. And this looks terrible, but that's OK. We're, we're on the right track if it looks like this, like an x-ray. <laughs> The next thing I'm going to do is go over and change the mode. So tap the N, which stands for normal, and drag it down. Oops, went too far. And uh, land on color dodge. Then I tap out into my workspace. With the layer still selected, I'm going to go over to my adjustments again. And I'm going to tap uh, Gaussian blur. And I want to drag with my pencil over. And I want to keep it somewhere. 1.5 to 2, but no more than 2. As you can see, there's lines starting to form. I'm going to leave it. Ah, it's a little too much. I'm going to go back a little bit. Yeah, that's a little bit better. I think I wound up at about 1.7. Each image is different, so you'll have to just gauge what you like. I don't want it to be too much, but I want to be able to see some of these darker lines appear. But this is a great... Um, a, a great thing to do too if you're trying to create lines that you want to draw over for a drawing. Um, and so we're just going to take it a couple steps further to create our uh, fake or imitation high pass filter. So once you've got something like this where the lights, the, the lines are sort of light, they're not overpowering, and there's not too much noise in terms of dust, uh, in terms of the black and white color here, uh, you want to keep that to a minimum. Once you have that and you're satisfied, then we're going to go back over to our layers icon here and tap it so we can open up the layers panel. And then we're going to uh, tap the layer that we just treated and we're going to go ahead and merge it down. Okay, so now it's just all together and it's white, but we want it to be gray. So we're going to go ahead and go over to our color uh, palette here and we tap it and select the value. So a lot of times they come in, you'll have it selected the different tool or view for the color palette. What you want is value because you want to really look at this. So 128, 128, and 128, and 50% is what we're looking for. We want a 50% gray. So let's see if I can just dial this down by... That looks pretty good. It's actually 127. Uh, so let me just fix that for each of them. And at 50% gray, um, we won't have the color affect the image when we're overlaying it or using a different blending mode. So, okay, so now we're at 808080, and that's apparently 50% gray here. So, okay, great. Once we have that, our color is set, um, we're gonna go ahead and tap the color and drop it right on top of our layer there. And now we're set. Um, so we're gonna go back in we're going to tap our layers and then we're going to go to the to that N again, the normal, and we're going to change the blending mode to, um, well first let's start with hard light just so you can see the effect in action here. So I'm going to bring this up so you can see the eyes here. 
and also some of the detail right here. So with our mask, on, or sorry, our, our layer visible, um, it's actually pretty sharp. If we deselect it, you can see that the eyes uh, become a lot less noticeable, a lot less sharp. They look a little more blurry. So visible, invisible. Visible, again, some good detail right there. I really like it. Here's the thing though. I don't really want the sharpening all over everything because it sort of changes his skin and makes it a little bit more grainy. So I'm actually gonna create a mask and paint in where I want my sharpening. And I wanna show you too another thing. So in, in inside of the blend modes, uh, you can select soft light, which kind of takes down the effect a little bit and overlay, which takes down the effect even more. And then you can also use your opacity slider and just to get the exact amount of sharpening that you want. I'm gonna stick with hard light and I'm gonna uh, stick with the maximum amount there. Okay, so, but I want it only around his eyes and his teeth and some of the, the lines and, and some of the detail around his hat and maybe this line, I'm not sure, but definitely on his face because I want, uh, when, when things are sharp, our eyes are drawn to them. So I want to draw the eyes to the face because that is the focus or the focal point of my photo. So, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and create a mask by tapping that layer and selecting mask. And then I want to invert that mask because I want everything to be invisible except what I paint back in. So tap invert. Okay, then I'm gonna go over here and select white. I think that's a white, yes it is. Okay, and then I'm going to select a brush. And actually, the calligraphy monoline is pretty good for me. I, I think I'm going to go with that. And let's see, I want that to be somewhat small. And then I'm going to start painting in along the eye here. Ooh, I like that. It's really subtle, but it's nice and sharp. Okay, I like that. Okay, awesome. And teeth. It's one of those things that psychologically we noticed, so we're gonna be, <laughs> we want to attack the things on the face, that sounds terrible, that we know that we would notice that are sharp. And we also really seem to notice the hair. So we're just kinda bringing in details that we naturally would be looking for and notice so that, you know, again, we're trying to pull in some of the, some of the attention here. And this is framing his face, so I kinda wanna bring in sharpness to that as well but it's all fairly subtle. I don't want to go too crazy here. Let's see, probably on the ear here, some of these details, and maybe up here on his eyebrow. Okay. Now, if you wanted to go for a much more extreme uh, sharpening effect, when you're doing the, 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 the adjustment for Gaussian blur, that's where you would really, you go up a little higher, like maybe to two, but I wouldn't recommend going much beyond that. Okay, so now this is pretty good, but I also want this to be uh, in black and white. So I'm gonna go ahead and select layers here, and above this layer, I'm gonna hit the plus sign to create a new layer, and I'm gonna take that 50% gray I already have selected and just drop it in there. And then I'm gonna select the layers panel again, and I'm gonna click on the blending mode there in, and I'm gonna take it all the way down to color. And that gives me a nice black and white. So now let's go ahead and look at our adjustment um, and, and on and off and just see what it looks like in the black and white space too here. Okay, so visible, invisible, visible, invisible. That's how you make a imitation high pass filter that you can use for sharpening your images inside of Procreate. I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have please subscribe to this channel and like the video and also ring the bell so that you get notified when new videos become available. Thanks so much for spending your time with me um, as we walked through how to do this and I hope your day is awesome. Take care. Bye-bye.